So I have five minutes to tell you a story that you'll remember for 13 months. It's tough to tell that story. I'm not just an IT guy. I own a software company I have for 20 years. I've been incredibly fortunate. I have traveled the world scuba diving, playing poker with my wife. She does both. And in 2016, in November, the day after, I got a call from my wife. She was traveling, she was international, and she had heard the news, and she was crying. My sister texted me that same day and said, how do I explain this to my daughter? In 2018, the blue wave hit, and it didn't impact Wisconsin. The GOP had gerrymandered things to such an extent that despite all of our efforts, they still won in dramatic fashion 46% of the vote, 64% of the seats. It offended me, as I suspect it did most of you, probably all of you, really. At that moment, I realized that I had the resources, I had the opportunity, and I absolutely had the motivation to step into politics. Because my state assembly and my state senators had run unopposed yet again. So last year, I hopped into the race for state senate. We were about a 30-point underdog, as most, so many of the state senate races were. And we lost by 19. Not too bad. But here was the cool part. We increased Democratic voting in that district, which is down Franklin, Muskego, New Berlin, relatively red. We increased voting in that district for Democrats by 28%. Now, if you've listened to Ben Wickler from uh, the Wisconsin State Democrats Party, he'll tell you that across Wisconsin, we are up 18%, and that was for Joe Biden. He did 18% better than Hillary Clinton had done in 2016, and he had almost exactly the same vote total that they had in uh, 2012 with Barack Obama. So, 18%. Down ballot, the races that I was in, the races that matter to you, Almost every Democratic state Senate race dropped last year. We we're up 18% at the presidential level, and every level dropped except for two. I'll take credit for the big one, at least a little credit. So I think as we go forward, as we look at what's going to be happening in the next election, we've alluded to the fact that we've had 1% wins or less for Governor Evers, 1% or less for President Biden, a 1% or less loss for Hillary or Adam Clinton. If you go back before that 1%, there's this thought that Wisconsin is purple. I don't agree. Here's why. I think, I believe, rather, that if we are willing to talk to people, we have the opportunity to grow it. So let me ask you guys a quick question. I'm an instructor. Like I said, I own a software company and we teach. So part of being an instructor is I get to ask questions. So hopefully you'll respond. How many of you, show of hands or clap, whatever you want to do, have lost friends or family due to politics? There we go. All right? I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. And what a tragedy is that? All right? The very first person that I had in my office when we started the campaign and we had COVID and masks and distancing and stuff, the very first person that I had in my office was a raging libertarian. God help me, if any of you have dealt with those guys. No offense to the raging libertarians who might be here. But we sat for three hours and we talked. 
And at the end of it, he said, I agree with a lot of what you're saying. I can't vote for you because you have a D in front of your name, but I agree with a lot of what you're saying. There's a gentleman by the name of Daryl Davis. When you get home, look him up in his TED talk. Daryl Davis, about 30 years ago, chose to set up an interview with a KKK Grand Dragon. What he didn't tell him is that he was black. So, right. <laughs> so you can imagine his surprise when this Grand Dragon and his guard showed up and there's this black gentleman to interview him. And to his credit, and I don't give much credit, but to his credit, he and his guards sat down and they had a conversation with this black man, who they point blank told, we are better than you. Races should be split, point blank. And Daryl Davis listened. And then they met again. And then they met again. And then they started to do lunch, and they had dinner, and they became friends. And over the course of 20 years, the Grand Dragon became the Imperial Wizard, and I wish I were making these names up, and he also became the goddaughter, or excuse me, godfather of Daryl Davis as a black man's daughter. And then one day, he gave it all up. And he gave Daryl Davis his robes. And Daryl travels the country telling that story. I don't think talking to libertarians and republicans and conservatives is nearly as difficult as what that black man did sitting down with the grand dragon of the KKK. So that's my format. That's why we increased voting 28%. Because I interacted online with trolls for Pete's sake. And I had consultants ask me why I would do that, tell me that it was not worth my time. Well, it was, quite clearly. The Republicans have spent the last 40 years moving things, very, very slowly and methodically moving things. We have to take a long approach, we have to take a long view, and that starts with conversations, that starts with sharing, that starts with understanding these points underneath education, energy. But it also, under, uh, it also means understanding the points of the other side. Because if this were a GOP right now, it would say guns and babies and whatever else they're going to throw on there, right? Regulations that they don't pay any attention to. We have to be willing to sit down for as long as it takes, including with those people that we have left behind, or perhaps they have left us, and have these conversations. Because here's my goal. Here's what I believe we can do. I mean, no offense to my fellow candidates. I'm a Bucks fan. I'm reading Tom Nelson's book. Dr. Bettino's website is fabulous, by the way, if you go there. Any of them can win or lose by 1%. And we will be in the same scenario that we are in right now, with the GOP trying to take away people's votes, with them trying to abscond with the election. I want to win by 11%. But that's going to require more than just you, more than just us. That is going to require us to start to have these conversations. So what we're going to provide for you is that conversation. Our website is going to be a learning center. It is going to be available to you. Thanks, sorry. And it is going to be available for you to share. Because I think that's how we're going to win this next election. And we're going to get rid of Ron Johnson. Because we've got to drop Ron Johnson in here. <laughs> and take care of it. Thanks very much.